Shiva being the ultimate outlaw. You must understand what is outlaw. Many of you have suffered in-laws. I hope you won't meet too many outlaws. <laughs> but when we say the ultimate outlaw, you must understand all laws, all laws are of some meaning only in the physical sphere of life. See, suppose you did not have a body. I want you to just imagine yourself. You don't have a body. What law do you have to follow? You can go wherever you want, you can do whatever you want, yes? Only because you have a body, where to go, where not to go, what to do, what not to do, only in the physical realm, the laws have a meaning. One who has transcended the physical, he has no loss, so he's the outlaw. He's out of all loss. This is what spiritual process means. Within yourself, you are out of all loss because once you transcend your physical nature, none of the laws bind you. In the society, yes, but within yourself, no, because you are an outlaw because you are out of the physical nature. So in that context, he is the ultimate outlaw. And Mahashivratri is his day, the significance of the day is that on that day, there is a phenomenal upsurge of energy within the human system. This is why on that night you are not supposed to sleep, you must keep your spine vertical so that you make use of this natural upsurge within you. So on that night there is a huge festival here. This year, this is going to be a mega festival because we have crossed the twenty-one year cycle this is a new cycle. And it is going to be a phenomenal event, it's an incredible night and uh, we'll have many things happening on that night. We are already, our teams are working to make this into a major possibility for every human being. And we will also make it happen across the country and in many parts of the world, in various cities, having video feeds and stuff, though there is a time difference in the other countries. And as a precursor to this in a way, not really a precursor but this is a special event which happens only once, only once, that is we don't repeat this. This will happen in December. Till now we have done three special events like this where their production quality, entire ashram is done up for this purpose not like other programs which are repeated, this is only one-time programs. We did Vaibhav Shiva, which was about how Shiva taught yoga. Then we did three years later Leela, this is about how Krishna taught yoga. Then about three years ago we did Mahabharat, which is the grandest story that you can imagine, it's a story inside a story inside a story. It is the most phenomenal story, it's the longest story on the planet. So an eight-day event happened like this, hundreds of hours of videos, they're still editing, not released after three years <laughs> So this year, in the month of December, between 22nd and 26th, we will have an event which is about the devotees of Shiva. We have not... <laughs> there are different types of cultures which have evolved out of devotion for Shiva. They are in different geographical locations in the country largely and they have their own practices, they have their own traditions, cultures, their own flavor, their own poetry, their own music. So this will be uh, an exquisite event of music, art, poetry and of course the spiritual fundamental. So this will be about the devotees of Shiva. 
this will be a limited number of people, we can't have a crowd like this <laughs> But others uh, can hang out later, <laughs> okay? We'll make it available to you in some way. So this will be a four, five-day event in the month of December star starting on the winter solstice, which is twenty-second of December, twenty-first of December. Uh, it's an event to look forward to because it's a one-time event, we will not repeat those events again. Those of you who can afford to be there in terms of time and whatever else, please make sure you're there. Uh, I'm excited.